John Saxon, a classic Hollywood actor, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Whether you recall his iconic performances or have lesser known facts about him that fascinate you, there's no denying his impact. Can you remember the first work you watched featuring this talented individual? As we delve into the intriguing facets of John Saxon's career, stay tuned for funny, shocking, and even poignant facts. We'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to him in the comments below. Keep watching for a journey through the life and work of this Hollywood legend. There's much more to discover. John Saxon, an influential figure in the film industry, left an enduring impact on Hollywood during his era and beyond. His contributions to the cinematic landscape were marked by a skillful blend of talent and versatility. In the 1960s and 1970s, his presence on the silver screen was both notable and impactful. His performances, characterized by a unique charisma and depth, resonated with audiences and critics alike. Demonstrating a remarkable range, he showcased acting prowess in various genres, from westerns to horror films. One of the iconic moments in his career was his role in the classic martial arts film Enter the Dragon, where he held his own alongside Bruce Lee. This collaboration not only elevated his status in the industry, but also contributed to the global popularity of martial arts films. His adept portrayal of characters added a layer of authenticity and gravitas to the films he graced. Beyond his acting talent, his influence extended behind the scenes. Actively engaging in shaping the narrative of the projects he was part of, he showcased a keen understanding of storytelling. This dual commitment to both the craft and the industry as a whole solidified his place as a respected figure in Hollywood. His impact endured through the decades, with his work continuing to be celebrated by audiences and filmmakers. His legacy serves as a testament to the lasting influence one actor can have on the film industry. In the annals of history, he stands as a prominent figure, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood. Co-starring alongside Sandra Dee in three films, including The Restless Years, The Reluctant Debutante, and Portrait in Black, John Saxon shared the screen with her on multiple occasions. Their collaboration extended beyond the silver screen as they teamed up in 1991 for the play Love Letters. Apart from his acting career, Saxon held a black belt in karate, showcasing proficiency in martial arts. This physical prowess added a unique dimension to his persona, reflecting a diverse set of skills beyond the realm of acting. Notably, he took on the role of Genghis Khan in two films, Genghis Khan and Genghis Khan, The Story of a Lifetime. These cinematic endeavors explore different facets of the historical figure, demonstrating his ability to portray characters from various walks of life. In summary, his collaboration with Sandra Dee, proficiency in karate, and portrayal of Genghis Khan in two films are noteworthy aspects of his career that showcase versatility both on and off the screen. With a grandson and a great-grandchild in his family, he extended his legacy beyond the silver screen. During high school, he honed archery skills while working at a Coney Island archery concession. His proficiency in archery traced back to those early job days as a spieler. His fascination with archery not only added a unique skill to his repertoire, but also spoke to a side of him often overshadowed by his acting prowess. Those who knew him closely marveled at his ability to seamlessly transition between roles both on and off screen. Archery, it seemed, was not just a pastime, but a reflection of his adaptability and precision a metaphor for the carefully aimed shots he took in the world of cinema. Upon his passing, he chose cremation, and his ashes found their way back to his family, marking the end of a life rich in varied experiences. The decision to return to the embrace of his family echoed the closeness he sought throughout his life. Beyond the limelight, he valued the warmth of familial bonds and the comfort of home. His ashes, now a part of the family's shared history, added another layer to the intricate tapestry of his life. These personal details provide a glimpse into the lesser-known aspects of his life, complementing his well-documented career. While the world celebrated his on-screen triumphs, these intimate facets serve as a testament to the man behind the characters and individual whose interests and passions extended far beyond the roles he portrayed. In the quiet moments of archery practice or the family gatherings, he was simply himself a man who embraced life in its various forms. 
In the realm of cinema, John Saxon made a lasting impact with roles in three films now preserved in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. These selected works, namely A Star is Born, Enter the Dragon, and A Nightmare on Elm Street, are acknowledged for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. His journey into the limelight began when talent scout Henry Wilson discovered him through a posed shot on the cover of True Romances magazine. This pivotal moment marked the commencement of a career that spanned decades and included a diverse range of roles. At the time of his passing, Saxon's true age was clarified by his partner and son, confirming that he was born in 1936, contrary to the widely quoted 1935. This correction adds a factual dimension to his life story. In summary, his cinematic legacy is etched in the annals of history with films that resonate culturally, historically, and aesthetically. Discovered through a magazine cover, his journey unfolded through the decades, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. The correction of his birth year offers a precise understanding of the man behind the roles. In March 2012, he attended the Williamsburg Film Festival in Virginia, showcasing his continued engagement with the film community. John Saxon's presence as the special guest star in various TV series pilots, including Kung Fu, Simmer and Strip, Scarecrow, and Mrs. Tom King, It Takes a Thief, and more, highlighted his recurring role in shaping the early episodes of potential shows. Notably, he made multiple appearances as different characters within the same series, a practice observed in The Six Million Dollar Man and Bonanza. His final resting place, alongside Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee, is at Lakeview Cemetery in Seattle. The shared burial ground connects these three figures, each leaving a distinct mark on the entertainment industry. From film festivals to TV series, John Saxon's continued involvement in the industry and his unique approach to television roles contribute to his enduring legacy. The placement of his ashes reflects a symbolic connection to fellow legends, forming a silent camaraderie even in the afterlife. This additional insight into his posthumous resting place adds another layer to the narrative of his life, further enriching our understanding of the man behind the roles. A lifelong liberal Democrat, John Saxon's journey into the world of acting began after studying dramatics for six months with Betty Cashman at Carnegie Hall. Quickly signed by Universal, he attended the studio's workshop for 18 months before making his mark in Hollywood. Beyond his on-screen career, he served as an acting mentor and friend to Heather Langkamp. Their connection added a personal dimension to his influence in the industry. Notably, he maintained political affiliations, aligning himself with liberal democratic values throughout his life. His commitment to the craft extended to collaborations with Sandra D in three films, as well as a joint venture in the play Love Letters in 1991. Additionally, Saxon showcased proficiency in karate, holding a black belt and adding a unique physical dimension to his persona. This martial arts prowess demonstrated diverse skills beyond acting. In exploring various roles, he portrayed Genghis Khan in two films, delving into the depths of the historical figure's character. This showcased his ability to embody diverse roles and characters from different walks of life. Transitioning into his personal life, his legacy extended beyond the silver screen to family. With a grandson and a great-grandchild, he embraced the warmth of familial bonds. Archery, a skill honed during high school, revealed a lesser-known aspect of his life. It wasn't just a pastime, but reflected his adaptability and precision, much like the carefully aimed shots in his cinematic roles. In cinema, his lasting impact is evident in three films preserved in the National Film Registry. A Star is Born, Enter the Dragon, and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Discovered through a magazine cover, his journey unfolded through decades, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. The correction of his birth year adds a factual dimension to his life story. Continuing his engagement with the film community, he attended the Williamsburg Film Festival in 2012, highlighting his enduring connection to the industry. His presence as a special guest star in TV series pilots, alongside his unique approach to roles, contributed to his lasting legacy. His final resting place at Lakeview Cemetery in Seattle, shared with Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee, forms a symbolic connection to fellow legends. Graduating from New Utrecht High School in Brooklyn, New York in 1953, John Saxon began his journey into the world of acting. His early years laid the foundation for a career that spanned decades, leaving a lasting mark on the film industry. 
fluent in Italian, he extended his influence beyond borders, working on and off in Italy since the early 1960s. In the realm of cinema, Saxon's filmography includes a unique niche for films featuring the word blood. From Blood Beast from Outer Space to Queen of Blood, Blood Beach, and Blood Salvage, these titles showcase his diverse roles in the world of filmmaking. Each film adds a distinct flavor to his repertoire, reflecting his adaptability as an actor. His linguistic prowess and cultural versatility allow him to seamlessly navigate the Italian film scene, contributing to the richness of his career. As he progressed, his roles in films like Enter the Dragon, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and A Star is Born became cultural touchstones, earning a place in the National Film Registry. Beyond the silver screen, his commitment to the craft extended to mentoring aspiring actors such as Heather Langkamp. His influence reached beyond the sets of Hollywood, emphasizing dedication to nurturing talent within the industry. John Saxon's journey, marked by early education, linguistic skills, and a distinctive filmography, reflects a man of varied talents and experiences. His impact, evident in the cultural significance of his films, continues to resonate, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of cinema.